Hi, my name's Cathy Miller, and this week we're looking at those all-important finishing touches that complete your diorama. So once again, we're looking at real-world photos of demolished buildings and just looking at the rubbish that's in those piles. Um, realistically, it's mostly wood, which I've done inside the building, so I'm not going to repeat outside the building. It's whatever rubbish people have thrown as they've walked past on the street. Uh, it's whatever else you might find in a building. So on the outside, where I'm going to add some extra details, I'm mostly just going to reflect rubbish and leaves because that's what I'd expect to be there. This is my Chino diorama that Doug Fiscali sent me the um, kit to review. So I've had great fun building it. Um, it just needs a couple of things to go on. So I've got a door missing. I've got some bottles to put on. I've got some leaves and I've got some broken glass. So those are the final touches I'm going to put on for some extra debris. I'm also going to do a little bit of final weathering on these areas because um, it, it, it doesn't look bad, but there are just a few areas where I think we could do with a little bit more streaking and some of the colours look a bit bright, especially down this side. The brick really stands out against the brick debris. So I'm just going to tone that down a bit. So let's get on with it. First of all, um, I'm going to start building my bottles, if that makes sense. So I've got a range of bottles from various kits. I think this was my striker kit, um, probably. And those are look like plastic water bottles, which probably aren't appropriate for this era. And these are Meng, and again, these are model, modern ones, and they're sort of big, um, big soda, fizzy pop type bottles. And they've got um, some lovely little um, Pepsi and whatever that equivalent is, decals to go on them. I've also got some Calibre 35 clear bottles and brown and green bottles. Um, they also come with little um, decals to put on, so that's really useful to do. So I've got some wine bottles and they're different shapes. I'm just going to go for one. I don't, you don't need many of these. And um, normally I would use my sprue cutters, but they're cunningly at my mum's house where I'm doing a plastic kit. So I'm just going to take that off with an X-Acto knife. And I don't need anything else from that kit apart from a decal in a minute. So I'm just going to sand using an emery board or a small file or whatever you have, the bottom of the bottle. Um, if you're worried about it not looking glossy like the side, you can add a dab of gloss varnish on. I'm not that fussed because it's going to be buried in debris in a minute. So these are water slide decals. So you just need to cut them out from their carrier to use them. So just with a sharp knife, cut around the one I want to use. This one actually says wine on it. Trying not to cut into it or any of its neighbours. So to do this, what I need is some water, which I've got here. And I just put my decal in the water for a second. Get that down there. And when it floats off, it's ready. There we go. So I can just pop it on a brush and pop it onto my bottle. Let's just make sure there's no specks underneath. And then I just need to make sure it's the right way up and that it's straight. And then I normally just use the brush slightly to tamp it where I want it to be. Okay, let that just dry up. The other thing I'm going to do in the glass front is use some of this. Now this is um, microscope cover slides and I use these for my HO glass. Um, you can use them for larger scales but it's hard to get big pieces and obviously cover slips are quite small and they're sort of that sort of size to go on the centre of a microscope slide. So you just look them up under microscope laboratory supplies. So I've got a piece, um, these are the pieces that just didn't fit um, and they cut. So what I need to do is just break this and put it in here. And that can be a little bit tricky. You don't want to um, sort of shatter it and put it everywhere. So I do recommend covering it or putting it in something. So I've got a bit of uh, this is junk mail that was in here. And what I'm going to do is put it inside there and just give it a bit of a... Let's see what that did. Oh, didn't do very much. Yeah. This is quite a thick bit of just papery card. You don't want the pieces to be powder, um, but you don't want them to be, there we go, um, 
sort of. Oops. And then they're easy enough to pick up with um, just a damp finger. Do not get any stuck in your finger. And there we go. So I'm going to put those on in a minute as well. I've got my door to stick on and I've got my leaves. So I'm going to start assembling these, but let's just talk about the leaves first. You can get loads of really, really nice leaves in 1 to 35 scale that are laser cut and you don't need many so I've brought these and they're probably going to last me a lifetime and I've got oak leaves, these are lime, birch leaves, maple, um, very nice and um, these sort of universal dry leaves which are bright orange and looking at this I think I'm going to put in one maple leaf and a couple of these and maybe a couple of these but I don't want many and to glue all these, I'm going to use just a matte varnish. I don't really need white glue and I want quite a small amount. So I'm going to use a little cocktail stick. Um, I can put it on the edge. Squirt this out onto something. A little plastic bag will do. Preferably not when my bottle's drying. Just a drop. And now I'm ready to begin. So actually for the door, I'm going to use proper white glue. So I'm going to put the door just thrown on the side there. I'm never quite happy where to put this third door. The other ones were obvious. Could do it leaning up as if someone lent it there out the way. I don't know. Maybe there. Okay, so I'm just going to put some white glue. This is tacky glue along the bottom. Now the reason I'm going to use matte varnish over white glue is it does dry clear and matte and with these small amounts quite often you can end up with the glue showing. I mean not on this door but on some of the other bits you can end up with the glue sh showing and that can be a bit of a, um, a shame. So I'm going to go there. Right so you're just going to stick there. We'll see how well that stays stuck. You can always put a little bit of glue at the top next time. Get a my brush. And put a little bit of matte varnish in the area where I want the glass to be, which is round here. Um, and if I have to come back and put some more powder on at the end, then that's what I'll have to do. So it's, it's there, coming round. I'm just going to sprinkle this on. Now, do be careful with this, it is fairly nasty. Okay, just because you have it doesn't mean to say you have to use it. It's my adage I keep telling myself. making sure they're all sat in with a bit of glue somewhere gluing them okay and there's a bit that escaped to there we should turn it so you can actually see it so they're all glued with something I'm going to put a few of these leaves down so I'm only going to use one of each I don't need a huge amount and they do notice when they get damp they change colour slightly um, so you don't need a huge amount of anything it's just going to go in the gutter here and less is more is sometimes the case with detailing you know this is a road it's going to have loads of um, patting traffic it's not all just going to sit there with um, nothing moving and I do like to make sure it's, it's detailed but not fussy I've actually even got veins on these leaves absolutely gorgeous and you can get them in 1 to 48 I think by the time you're getting down to HO um, I would use tea leaves or something that's more representing it rather than actually um, exactly just go um, because um, it's just less easy to see but obviously depends how you like to do your photos these are nice but the colors are just a bit too similar to the um, brick dust so I feel they'll get lost a bit so I probably won't bother with any more of those put this um, bottle in now I am going to just put a bit of white glue at the end of the bottle and put it um, it will get dusted in a minute and I know the decal isn't totally 100% set. So yeah, I'm just going to put it as if someone's thrown it over here. 
Right, so those are my details. I've got the glass in, I've got the bottle in, I've got the leaves in. Now I just need to get the final weathering on. But so that I don't um, disturb all of this, I'm just going to let these dry first and then we can put the final coat of weathering on. So now we're on to the final finishing touches, which is just to add a little bit of pigment to weather everything down that looks a bit bright. So, um, first of all, I'm going to use the slightly bigger brush and my sort of brick coloured dusting stuff that I've had just to um, put down some here. Now this brick I used last week in the Brick Debris and it's a mix of terracotta and um, tile grout, white pigment and um, probably something else as well. Oh, a light rust pigment as well just to give it a bit of a white colour. But I'm looking along here and I'm just going these look just a little bit too bright and they'd have a little bit more dust on them. So it's just a case of looking for things that look bright and I don't mind if it falls down a little bit inside or outside because each of these have got piles there. I'm just also going to cover up around this glass and then on the faces I'm going to use actually a slightly different colour just for variety and a smaller brush to get a finer different texture and obviously um, there's loads of pigments out there. I'm using up this which is MIG Productions. I've got AQ Interactive and Ammo by MIG Pigments as well and they all do a kind of fairly reasonably dusty brown colour and this is called Industrial City Dirt in the MIG range but I, I like it for a colour so I'm just going to use it to just put some streaks down, not too much. So there we go, the final result. Um, I'm really pleased how it's turned out. It was a lovely kit, it had some great castings in there and it's been easy to convert it into something slightly different from what um, Doug gave instructions, but the instructions are really helpful and useful. I've actually still got a, box, uh, a packet of wood that he gave to create scrap out of, but I'll use those on another kit or something. And yeah, really pleased with it. It's, it's a nice kit, it's, um, it's got some quirks, so gonna go on my side. I'm really proud to have it there.